Oh, come on. Ah, good evening. That's a little better. All right. I know some of you just got off a plane, but we are in Bilbao, so we have a little energy. So welcome to the third edition of the Bilbao Innov Urban Innovation and Leadership Dialogues. I'm Geraldine Gardner, and I'm the Director of Urban and Regional Policy at the German Marshall Fund. So I'm delighted to welcome you to the city of Bilbao, a city that I've had the great pleasure to get to know over the last few years, a city with a transformation story that's both instructive and inspiring, and most importantly, a city that's now led by a mayor and a city council committed to economic development, social cohesion, and linking their global connections to economic opportunity for their citizens. As a forward-leading city, Bilbao is still very much the home of BUILD. Over the past year since we've, we were last here in Bilbao, both the United States and Europe have seen many disruptions, and certainly transatlantic cities have been on the front lines. Whether it's dealing with the aftermath of the Brexit vote, or our tumultuous and polarizing US election, which is almost over. <laughs> These issues are playing out on the streets of transatlantic cities. And BUILD is a venue to discuss, to debate, and to learn from each other so that you can continue to navigate these complex challenges and lead change in your cities. You're also a really impressive cohort of leaders from 60 cities and 13 countries. You represent all different levels of government, our business leaders, leaders from the arts, from civil society, and philanthropy. We appreciate that you've taken time out of your busy schedules to be here with us, to roll up your sleeves, and to get to action. This year's theme is focused on urban transformation and the digital age. Not a new topic, but one that we navigate on a daily basis, and one that's ripe for transatlantic exchange. GMF and our partners have created over 25 hours of content for Build, and we really want this to be an enriching experience. For those of you who were here last year, you're going to know what's coming. But on Friday afternoon, when we get together for the final time, I'm going to ask you, what will you do on Monday when you get back to your desk? Or maybe later in the week if you're taking some vacation. How will you make your city more inclusive, more sustainable, more globally engaged in this digital age? What's your commitment to yourself, to your city, and to this network? It could be something small and personal, like writing a blog post or following up with a contact, or it could be something big, something that you are inspired by that you can weave into your work. The point is, I challenge you to embrace BUILD, embrace BUILD as an opportunity to act. One of the wonderful things that I appreciate about Basque culture, aside from the fabulous food and wine, which you all will taste if you haven't already, is the importance of personal relationships and networks. This is a value that we very much share at GMF and something that we're really pleased to facilitate again through using our conference app, Build Connect. So before we launch any deeper into our programming this evening, I just quickly want to walk you through some of the elements that our great moderator, Richard Louis, will be using in our plenary. So hopefully we can, ah, it's already up, great. So get out your devices if you haven't already. Make sure you're logged on to our Wi-Fi network. Uh, Build is the shocking name of it. All right, first two, two disclaimers. I am not an expert in this app, so please don't ask me any questions. We have our wonderful folks from SpotMe uh, who design it, and they're here to troubleshoot. Uh, second, uh, I'm not going to be able to show you everything. So this is just a taste. All right, so we have the menu uh, that they're already showing. Oh, it's my profile. Oh, OK, very good. Uh, we have the agenda and the speakers and the participant list. That's all very self-explanatory. Um, but I want to highlight some of the interactive features for you. So I think uh, we let's go to the Get Social. So we've preloaded. Uh, social media platforms so you can share your insights. Uh, tonight's conversation is on the record, so please feel free to tweet away and share Instagram. You guys have already been awesome up in, in the lead up to build with sharing your impressions, so thank you. Um, we had a record last year of 500 tweets over the course of the conference, so I'm really hoping you guys can smash that as we get into the, our program. Okay, 
let's move on to the, uh, to the interactive. And we have a little test polling question. So you have here the Q&A, and this is the voting. So we have a tester question. Uh, we'd love to know, from your opinion, which years are you watching as the next key opening to catapult urban development? So there's a little countdown clock, and we'll get that running, and you can just select your answer in the app. Can we start the clock? Oh, it started. OK. Good. Bilbao, 2016. Everyone, did anyone need a couple more seconds? All right, five, six. Let's see. OK, 2020. I think Richard will want to talk about that when we get into the plenary. All right, we also have the word cloud feature, which we'll be going to. That's very simple. You type in a one-word answer and share it. And then you're also asked if, or invited to uh, share any questions and answers. Uh, we will have a microphone, but if you prefer to keep it anonymous, you're welcome to do that as well. OK, so now we're ready to get started. Um, please join me in welcoming GMF's Senior Vice President of Programs, Ivan Vedova. <laughs> Thank you, Geraldine. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. It's really great to be here. This is my first build. Uh, there was a queue up at GMF to get here. Uh, our president came here the first year. Our executive vice president came last year, and uh, so I had to wait. Third time lucky. Uh, Bilbao is a first time for me, and I came in a day earlier, and I've really been able to see what Geraldine was talking about, the incredible transformation that this city has gone through. It's very deep and rich history, momentous in so many ways, but also, as she said, forward leaning in so many ways and at the forefront of the challenges that both urban centers are experiencing, but also the challenges that we're living um, in kind of managerial language. This is called VUCA, VUCA, vulnerability, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity that we are confronting literally at every level, political, economic, social, and other. And I think that Bilbao has really, in a sense, tackled much of this as you walk through the town. We were honored to be received by the mayor, whom you will hear in a second, uh, this morning at his wonderful uh, city hall, uh, where we were uh, introduced to a number of issues that he will present here. But I was struck yesterday by how many foreign languages I heard in the street, randomly sort of Turkish, French, Italian, English, and uh, obviously the, the draws here are many, uh, beyond and above the Guggenheim Museum, so many other things. But it's really, as Geraldine said, I think, the friendship and the sense of hospitality that you meet at every corner in the small shops and the restaurants. Um, we at GMF uh, have had an urban program now for just over 10 years. And uh, it has been thanks to Marshall Memorial Fellows who have been traveling across the Atlantic. And those who were municipal or city officials decided that there was a way in which they could collaborate in more practical ways. And it was in fact three fellows from Bilbao who came to us just about four years ago and suggested, why don't we do this together? The result is what you see here. And it is really that initiative coming from below and from inside, I think, that is crucial to activities like these. Um, before giving the floor to the mayor, I'd really like to thank the city of Bilbao altogether. We have huge and wonderful partnership and cooperation. They have helped, they are part and parcel of making this the success that it is. The mayor, whom you will hear, Juan Maria Aburto, and he's a namesake because Juan is like Ivan in Spanish, so that's also a little uh, trivia that I find interesting, has been mayor uh, of Bilbao since June of last year. Um, a lot of energy, uh, a wonderful team that he has, so I'll ask the mayor to come here and please join me in welcoming him. Good evening, 
everybody. First of all, I would like, if you allow me to say a few words in our own language, in the Basque language, only to say you are welcome here in Bilbao. Bakarrik, ba euskeraz esateko ongietorria, ongietorri a berezia guztiontzako. Ongietorriak izan zaitezte Bilbora, geuretzako oso garrantzitsua eta oso importantea da holako foroa, holako kongresua hemen Bilbon eukitzea. Bilbok ikuspuntu nazioartekoa du eta ikuspuntu hori lan, landu nahi dugu eta eda horretan be lantzen dugu ikuspuntu hori. Good afternoon, good evening everybody. Many things bring those of us meeting today together in this inaugural ceremony for Bilbao Urban Innovation and Leadership Dialogues Forum Build, which this year is holding its third edition here in Bilbao, in the city. Amongst all of these things, there is one that I especially like to highlight because I think it explains and legitimizes the value of the alliance between the German Marshall Fund of the United States and Bilbao City Council. I refer, of course, to our shared interest in the future of cities. It is true, and we've said this on a number of occasions, that there are, that there are legitimate grounds for concern, but I think there are also many for hope, as long as we are able to do our homework correctly, to work well to work together. Half of the human population, approximately 3.5 billion people, now live, now live in, urban, in urban spaces. And predictions assure us that in 2050, this figure could reach 80% of the world's people. They are data that oblige us to think, debate, and plan strategies. Cities, whether large metropolises or mid-sized metropolitan areas such as Bilbao, face great challenges. On, one, on the one hand, they are places full of opportunities, and on the other, they are critical stage for conflict. Cities allow people to progress socially and economically. They create well-being and quality of life, contribute to creating new ideas, commit to commerce, the economy, culture, technology, productivity, intelligent governance, and so on. But let's not forget that cities also have to face up to serious problems linked, for example, to unemployment. The rate of unemployment we have is very important. Mobility, pollution, the digital divide, discrimination of minorities, and even poverty. These are, without doubt, important challenges that we must provide effective and efficient answers to if we truly want to build more humane, habitable and sustainable cities, and we want. This is, in my view, the contribution that the Bilbao Urban Innovation and Leadership Dialogues Forum can offer us. Those of you here today have experience, trajectory and broad vision. These are our values and our strengths as well. I know it isn't an easy task to get over 100 local leaders of the United States and Europe together to analyze and propose cutting edge policies related to urban development. Even less, even less so doing it in a complex context in which serious threats such as the still unresolved economic crisis international terrorism, attention to immigrants and refugees, inequalities, and the aging population in our cities, far from being solved, appear to be getting worse. That's why your efforts and commitment are more important than ever. We have to work hard. We need to talk and also, above all, be listened to. There is a lot to learn and a lot to do. I am convinced that this encounter will be key in the design of urban policies and, of course, for the exchange of innovative proposals 
best practices and experience of success. Working in a network allows us to go farther than our own reality and make us and makes us stronger. It provides talent and knowledge in order to be aware of where we are and very importantly, where we want to be, where we want to go. I sincerely believe that we should plan global policies, but always taking into account that each city is unique and must find the right solutions for its own challenges. Bilbao, for example, is a model of urban transformation and regeneration, which in 2010 was recognized with the Lee Kuan Yew Prize, considered to, to, to be the Nobel Prize for Cities, and award also bestowed on New York, Suzhou, and Medellin. Our objectives are to generate local economic growth and business opportunities, create qualified employment, and consolidate ourselves as a more sustainable and inclusive society. We are aware of the fact that the future will force cities to compete against each other to attract investment, business, excellence, technology, events, tourists, and so on. We are speaking essentially about the activity and good ideas. How do we achieve this? There are no magic recipes or shortcuts. Rigor and ambition are needed. Keep, or, keep your feet on the ground on the one hand and dream on the other. But I strongly believe as well that instead of only competing among cities, we should collaborate in order to achieve best results. Collaboration is essential to face the important challenges we have. Only this way will, be, will be we be able to lead a planning strategy shared with all of the social actors, of the social different actors, institutions, public sector, private sector, civil organizations, technological, technological centers, and citizenry. The participation of all of them is for us a priority. Rowing together in the same direction helps us, helps us to go further. The Basque country is, in this sense, a good example. It's no coincidence that we hold the eighth position in the world in the Human Development Index, only behind Norway, Australia, Switzerland, Denmark, the Netherlands, Australia and Ireland, and jointly with the United States. Our DNA contains the entrepreneurial spirit, the industrial tradition orientated towards intelligent manufacturing, the vocation of doing business with international, international projection, and the decided commitment to innovation to be able to grow. All of this only makes sense if it allows us to live better in cities that are more human, more sustainable, and more equal. There is no economic development if there is no social cohesion. Real development is one that includes all citizens. It's like a coin. Each coin has two sides. For one of them, the economic development. In the other side, the social cohesion. And perhaps you as me, nobody knows coins with only one side. The German Marshall Fund and Bilbao City Council completely coincide on this point. To this, uh, to this end, I want to invite you to go further with new proposals and focuses that will allow us to reinforce our singular identity and world reputation as cities of reference. On our side is our commitment to a greater democracy transparent and ethical public management, shared decision-making and social cohesion in habitable environments. This summit will allow us, without a shadow of a doubt, to further the collaboration that we began in 2013 with the signing of an agreement that has made it possible to open a technical office 
of the GMF in Bilbao. I won't keep you any longer. You have to work. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your presence here in Bilbao, for coming to our city. And if you'll allow me to make a suggestion, recommend a visit to the Francis Bacon exhibition in our, in our museum, in the Guggenheim Museum, and the Carmelo Ortiz del Guea in the Museum of Fine Arts. A walk around the Ensanche district, a Pinchos route through the historic center and a boat trip along our river, along our ria, are also essential experience that you shouldn't miss. You are always welcome in Bilbao. Make yourself at home. As we say in Basque, we receive good friends. Ongietori biotses. Thank you so much. <laughs>